Let's talk about Helen. Let's talk about Helen, Georgia. Phil, have you your ever heard? idea? I know. Have you ever heard of Helen, Georgia? Uh, no. Sound is it ultra south Georgia? Where, where is it geographically? No, though? it's not. It's north Georgia. So okay. it's like right on the border of Tennessee. It's about two hours northeast of Atlanta. Helen was recommended to us as we were leaving Greer, South Carolina, episode 106. Bang, bang. Uh, Greenville, South Carolina is where Greer is. And Greenville, if you remember, ladies and gentlemen, was episode 81. Oh, look at you. Yeah. And we were on our way to Chattanooga, episode 108. How so, many takes did we have to do to get that? <laughs> we, we did three <laughs> takes to get that. Just so everybody's interested, anybody who's interested. Um, so tell us, how did you come to find out about Helen, Georgia? Because I had never heard of it before. Okay. Cousin Judy, episode... I don't remember. That's not a very good number. 30. Uh, 34, I 32. think, or something like that. Anyway, Cousin Judy, uh, who is our uh, go-to for all things travel, said to me one time. And she's really your cousin. Yeah, she really is. Yeah. yeah. Um, that we should go to Helen, Georgia, because it is this adorable German town. Uh, German settlers. Uh, Bavarian was the term I believe she used. Maybe. Which sounds more bougie than just German. Okay, Maybe, but I do recall her saying that German settlers, because I, I, you know, I, you know me by now. I ask a lot of questions. So I asked Cousin Judy, how did this town in Georgia become German? And she said, oh, German settlers. And I swear she told me it was during World War II. And I was like, okay, that sounds great. There's this little town in Georgia that is, looks exactly like a little German town. One day I'll go. Beer, pretzels, Jaeger yes. in the mountains. What more could you want? Exactly. So we are leaving Greer and cousin Doreen mm -hmm. says to us, you have to go to Helen, Georgia. You're going to be going through Georgia. Heck, you have to You have to go to Helen. I was like, oh, Helen, it's what cousin Judy told us. It's a Bavarian town. And Doreen was like, yes, yes, it's supposed to be very cool. Oh, we have to go. So then I made you add it to our adventures. Yes, we took a roundabout way from Greer to our stop in Chattanooga. Yeah, and we went. We decided we were going to spend the day in Helen. Uh huh. Yeah, we were. I was really excited. I could not wait to see like the cute little, you know, Oktoberfest outfits that everybody's wearing. Lederhosen. Yeah. Okay. Beer steins. Like I had it in my head. I was like, this is going to be so cool. Yeah, like that place we went to in Vegas where the girls paddle you after you drink your shot of Jaeger. Exactly. Is that what you're wearing? What? Are you wearing a, a leader hosen? It does sort of. Oh, oh my I didn't gosh. even plan on that. Holy moly. That is crazy. You look like a resident of Helen, Georgia. I didn't even plan that. A you know what? Subconsciously, day. I probably did. Like You I, really didn't do that on purpose? Oh, no, not at all. Oh, oh no, not at all. Oh, that's so weird. Legit. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting paddled. <laughs> <laughs> don't you threaten me with a good time uh phil that was very astute of you that to notice that and the astute. minute you said it i was like oh my gosh i totally see it that's what she's going for absolutely not it was just a cute little denim dress what are those things called the puffy things that they have on their shoulders know. but they do wear like the suspender things in the front too they the, do i don't know it's you are lacking thing. the green suspenders and the clogs the yeah. clogs, yes, I'm not. Clogs. I do not have the clogs on. But anyway, so we're approaching Helen, Georgia, and I'm super excited, right? Like this is going to be cool, and um, we immediately are greeted with a traffic jam, like a legit traffic jam. We look, we're like, well, there's one lane in and one lane out. There is, but you're jumping way ahead. So really? let me just paint the picture for everybody. <laughs> oh, no, I don't want you to. It's gorgeous mountain to. country. It's gorgeous <laughs> mountainsides we're driving through, right? We are following the Chattahoochee River. We were. It's pretty. We saw a little bit of whitewater rafting here and there. Not we as did. much as we would eventually see in Tennessee, but there were things happening along the river. And it was a lot of trees. There were a lot of mountains, all this other stuff. And when Denise told me this was a Bavarian village, uh, I guess in my head, what I had imagined was sort of, you know, we are a little spoiled in our travels. We have been to places where the experiences are not just the experiences, but the actual buildings uh, and the town itself is authentic. I'm going to use the word authentic here. <laughs> it's very important that everybody hangs on that word authentic. Uh, we have been to old Quebec City, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And 
that looks like it's like out of the 1600s or 1700s, like small town France, right? Mm -hmm. Somewhere Absolutely. in France. Uh, we have been to Santa Fe, New mm -hmm. Mexico, mm -hmm. Adobe's everywhere. Mm -hmm. Very, very authentic, right? Please. We have been to, even, <laughs> even in more modern times, we have been to Essex, Connecticut, a colonial, a bastion of colonial revolutionary mm -hmm. love, mm -hmm. right? Can Col I have a disclaimer? Colonial houses. <laughs> And so we're driving through the mountainside mm -hmm. and I'm like, oh my gosh, mm -hmm. like we are coming up on New Heidelberg yeah. or somewhere. Like, like the Swiss I, Alps. I'm thinking yeah, Swiss I'm Alps, like, right? Like, you know, like those beautiful chateaus because like, they have those in Germany too. So I'm thinking the same thing. Yeah. Uh-huh. As was I. Yeah, none of that. So, uh, <laughs> no. go, okay, now proceed with the traffic jam. Yeah, just a long traffic jam, like 40 minutes to get from one end of this little town of Helen, Georgia to the other. And everything was fake. <laughs> there was no... Just, this is going to be a 10 minute podcast, the way she's like spilling these details right There now. was no... I had to Wikipedia while I was sitting in the traffic because there was no... There were no chateaus. There was no girls in dresses. There were no people walking around in clogs. Mm -mm. Um, it was... I don't even know. It was like tank tops, cut off jeans, and pizza huts everywhere. In fairness, it was designed to look like a Bavarian village, right? right? So the story, so yeah. But you mentioned Pizza Hut, so we might as well just say it. Imagine if you would, a few miles, I mean, it's probably a two or three mile strip, I'm guessing. Maybe a little more, four, maybe a little less, four. whatever. Uh, a strip of plywood Bavarian facades yes. everywhere. Plywood Pizza Hut, mm -hmm. Bavarian style. So just like picture in your head what like an old European town would look like. They faked that and called it Helen. Only if it was made by a bunch of guys in like Youngstown, Ohio. So it was like <laughs> what Bush Gardens does. Oh, that's it. Yeah. It's just, if you've been to Florida and you've been to Bush Gardens or Epcot Center, it was like Epcot. Everything was fake. And then like you go behind like one of the buildings in Epcot and like there's just a cement building or, you know, people smoking cigarettes in the back, just dressed in like a white T-shirt and khakis. Like there's there's nothing. It was I could not figure out what happened to the settlers from World War Two who came here and yep. built this beautiful town. And then I found out there was no such thing. So I Wikipedia it and then I shared it with you and go ahead. You and then you know you tortured me with it the whole time. So go ahead. So it turns out it was not originally a Bavarian village. It was a village up in the mountains. It was a logging village. Mm. And it was created so that, you know, obviously there was some some forestry stuff going on up there and sawmills and all that yes. good stuff and construction. Um it it now is only it was originally incorporated in 1913. In 1913, though, it was not Bavarian in any way, shape, it's, or form. No. It was not until uh 1968 when this gentleman named John Colick and his and some other businessmen friends of his decided that they needed a plan. They concocted a plan to convert this decaying now logging town because there are no more sawmills anymore. I mean, you know, everything was like being mass produced somewhere else. Uh, and uh, this town was decaying. So they decided they were going to convert it into a, a, a Bavarian village. Now, I'm sure there are people listening to this that will say, oh, this hotel or that restaurant or this or that was actually real. It was designed in a Bavarian style and it's an authentic edifice. <laughs> it's a building that was built specifically uh -huh. according to Bavarian standards. But in 2024, year of our Lord, I'm here to tell you, there's more plywood in that town than there is in all six Home Depots in your area. <laughs> like there is, it and it's painted and it looks. You mentioned um, Bush Gardens, Phil. To me, it reminded me a lot of I Drive in terms of the corniness. Wow. And I'm a fan of corny. Like I can get down with the corny. Uh, Denise's Renaissance Fair in Colorado, corny. Oh no! But I knew no, it was going to be corny, corny going in. The it's Renaissance corny. Fair was really good. First of all, every single person fair. was dressed up and head to toe in that Renaissance era. They all had that, like the beer, they all had the turkey. Like, no, 
You but, are not going to talk difference, badly about that Renaissance fair. I am. It actually. was a. It well, was no, you're right. Town. I'm not going to talk. About it. The difference is, I know very well there was no Renaissance ever held in the hills of Colorado. Okay, so I like knew was, going though. into it there was no Renaissance. Like th this is not a real Renaissance village, right? I knew that. You failed to notice <laughs> or understand. Not a, you failed to do the research on Helen Georgia. I did. To know that it is not a real Bavarian what village. What cousin Judy said, settlers came during. She must have made that up. This is the Skiptown All Stars podcast. It sound right, boy.